All right, Libra, let's get a message for the sign of Libra. This is going to be for solar eclipse messages. Let's see what's going on with Libra surrounding the solar eclipse. Happy birthday, Libra. Woo woo. All right, let's see. What messages do we have for the sign of Libra? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Libra. Let's see. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just drinking some juice. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see what messages we have for the sign of Libra. So I want to invite you guys to check out my or Carolina Moons. Uh, the information will be in the description box. She makes all kinds of all kinds of fun apparel. She made this shirt. Super soft, super comfy. She makes hoodies. So if you guys are looking for anything for football season or uh, for the holidays, she can custom make anything, like literally anything. Um, I literally just called her last night and was like, yo, my daughter's Halloween shirt won't get here by uh, her birthday. She's My daughter's also a Libra. So, um, yeah, her shirt won't get here before her birthday, and she needs it before then. <laughs> um, and literally while I was on the phone with her, she made the shirt and already had it packaged up. And ready to ship out today. So shout out to you, Taffy, for making it happen. Um, you guys should check her out. She's she does amazing work. Uh, but yeah, let's get into your reading. Anything else you need to know about me is in the description box. If you guys want a personal reading, information is down below. So let's jump into this. What is going on for the Libra during the solar eclipse? 2023. We're going to be doing nine cards, single jumping cards only. We'll be taking in my reading spirit. You already know how we roll. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Okay, let's get nine cards for the sign of Libra. What is the energy surrounding my Libra? My birthday children. Okay, so we got the high priestess, Pisces energy, your opposite sign. Okay. So some of you guys are very tapped into your intuition at this time. You may be keeping some things to yourself. Um, two of Wands showing itself. So there may be a choice here that you're pondering about or that you're thinking about. Or intuitively, there may be a choice that you know you need to make. Um, or a pathway. Some of you guys... Um, some of you guys are on like a spiritual path, a spiritual journey. You guys will know what I mean if that's you. All right, what else for Libra? What else do we got for Libra, please? Single cards. What is the message here for Libra? Queen of Swords. Some of you guys are high priestesses yourself. You guys may you know, speak some type of, speak out for a living, speak some type of truth, true speakers, or you have some type of hidden knowledge here that you may be speaking, writing. Um, some of you guys could um, have a career path or a spiritual path here uh, with something to do with communications. Uh, communications or writing. You're very, very, the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess is someone who's highly intelligent. Like, you have some type of esoteric wisdom, knowledge here. Yeah, this is a very, very, very intelligent energy. Okay, what else for the sign of Libra? Okay, we got the Tower, Scorpio energy. What else for Libra? Something here could be shocking. Um explosive there may be some type of truth here about a secret that could come as a shock to you it could shake some shit up or shake things up or some type of truth that you're speaking could cause a tower or or something okay the chariot cancerian energy coming out sideways so what else this could have to do with the cancer a scorpio's here pisces so strong water energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so there's a brand new opportunity here. There could be a little bit of a delay, though, with this opportunity coming in. Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, okay? This has to do with something growing. Could be financial. 
could be um, like a new job, a new car. This is a gift, a token from the divine, a brand new beginning. Okay, the chariot came out sideways. So I feel like there could be some type of delays. This could even be travel delays. Um, if any of you are, have this, some of you guys are receiving a new vehicle or you're getting a new vehicle. Um, give me one more. For Libra. I feel like this is going to come, come, uh, oh, Ace of Swords showing itself. Something here is going to be unexpected, Libra. You may intuitively know something, but I don't know. I feel like you may be a little bit shocked by this. Something could just be slightly delayed, four swords. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here with this four swords. Something here. You could be healing from something. Um, you may be resting, taking some time out to recoup, regroup, uh, taking a break. Or this opportunity is going to allow you to heal. It's going to allow you to take a break. Um, you're not going to have to, you know, strive so hard. I feel like this is something you've worked hard for. There may be something here where money was coming in slow. You've had to juggle finances. I don't know if you went through some type of an ending. Um, yeah, you could have went through something, some type of an ending. And you may have, you know, had to juggle, balance something out. But there's, there's a new opportunity coming in. I just feel like something could be slightly delayed. And I feel like this may come as a shock to you or this may be unexpected. Whatever this is, it's going to allow you to, like, take a break, heal. Some of you guys, I don't know, the Queen of Swords, she typically speaks out, speaks her truth. Has no problem saying what it, what it is that she feels is on her mind. But the High Priestess stays silent, and so does the Four of Swords. So I don't know if there's something here that you're keeping to yourself or you're, you know. Uh, think about what you're going to say before you say it. <laughs> My dad used to always tell me that when I was younger. Because I used to like stutter all the time. Still do sometimes. But um, yeah. Anyway, show me this high priestess energy. Six of, oh my gosh. Six of wands on the bottom of the deck. So something here is going to be a success after some type of an ongoing battle, I feel like. Show me this high, I'm not going to take that, but let's see. Devil, Ooh. Yeah, glad I'm not taking that. Okay, show me this high priestess. Ten of Cups, Page of Swords. Page of Swords can also talk about delayed information, communication, or news. Um, can be a conversation. This can also talk about somebody spying. I see the High Priestess again. Somebody could be spying through tarot or divination for some devil High Priestess. Oh, maybe it does go together. Shit. Queen of Cups. Strong water energy here, along with Capricorn. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, King of Swords and Two of Cups. Wow. Who else did I get that for? I think it was Virgo. Something about a hidden relationship or something like that. Keeping something private. Um, but the Ten of Cups is here. I don't know if there's someone here who's spying. This could be someone in your family or someone you share a family with or... Uh, someone could be watching somebody be in a happy marriage, happy union, okay? But there's someone here, I feel like, who's watching or looking from an out, looking. I don't know why. Yeah, the king and queen of swords showing up with the two of cups. So definitely could be surrounding some type of secret partnership, hidden partnership between two people. Maybe you could be with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, like yourself. Um, let me see. Why is this high priestess here? Someone's watching someone in secret or someone either someone's family is doing this or someone's watching you be happy in secret judgment. <clears throat> Show me the high priestess. Scorpio energies here a couple times. 
What's this High Priestess? The Strength card, Leo Energy. So Strength talks about having courage, having strength, overcoming something, taming, uh, letting go of any type of self-doubt. Um, someone here could be holding back communication or delaying communication, delaying speaking, um, keeping something to themselves. I don't know if this is you or someone else, uh, Libra. I feel like you intuitively know this though. There could be a Leo who's watching or spying for some, not for all of you. You may intuitively know this. Show me, show me this Queen of Swords. Yeah, because you're intelligent. You know. Show me this Queen of Swords energy. You may also know the truth about something here that has been hidden. Maybe you went looking and you found some type of information, but you're keeping it to yourself. That could be a thing too. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The devil. Oh my gosh. The devil sure does want to come out. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Show me this Queen of Swords. The Two of Cups. Karmic relationship. Justice. Libra. Whoa. You may know that something here is karmic or toxic, or there could be a partnership coming in. This is your justice. Uh, I don't know if someone's obsessed with someone here. Someone's obsessed with someone's relationship or obsessed with having a relationship with someone. Someone may be wanting to come in and balance out the scales. Why is the devil here? There could be a legal binding partnership as well. Do you know the truth about this? Show me the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower? Nine of swords. So, uh, page of wands and the empress, Taurus, Libra, and energy. So I don't know if someone's worried about sending some type of message here to a mother figure, to a wife. This why I don't know. Someone here is in their mind and their thoughts surrounding something that's shocking. Someone may be wanting to take action towards this empress. Someone may be planning on reaching out, sending a message, taking some type of action towards you or you're worried about sending a message or taking action I don't know worried about something blowing up Someone could be worried about either you receiving a message or sending a message. There could be a mother, a wife, or something here. Someone's worried about this because this could cause a tower moment. Hmm. Show me the chariot for Libra. There could be a mother and a child here as well. Um, this is your energy, Libra, with this um, Empress card. If you're a mother, you're a damn good mother. You, random side note, you may have a kid that's very active in sports. Maybe you're worried about injuries. That's a random note, but um, what else? I'm trying to see anything else I can see here. I get tired of reading about mundane shit. Not really mundane, but like 
You may also know that someone's obsessed with you, but someone's in a relationship or vice versa. Take that however it resonates. I don't know, because the Two of Cups and the Justice card is a fair, equal, balanced relationship, but then you have the Devil, so it's like... I don't know what that is. Show me the chariot. What is the chariot here on its side for? Something here is some type of an off offer opportunity is delayed, I feel like. Five of swords, five of wands. I don't know. There could be someone out here who's jealous or starting drama or trying to stir up some type of conflict. Someone here could be Hangman Pisces. Two fives. Change. So someone here is stagnating something or someone here is trying to gain a different perspective about something or somebody's feeling stuck because of some type of Conflict or drama. Someone could be trying to one-up somebody. There could be rumors or gossip that could be starting drama and stagnating something. Causing delays. This could involve other people. Up to five, up to four, five other people. Show me this Ace of Pentacles. High Priestess, Pisces Energy, Three of Pentacles in the Reverse. Someone may not want you teaming up with someone or collaborating with someone. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Okay. Um... The Ace of Swords is communication. It's a breakthrough. It's a new beginning. It's truth, clarity. Um, three of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like not working as a team, not working together. High Priestess. Again, that High Priestess and Ace of Swords is like she who knows. Someone knows. If there's people working together or talking, it's not going to work. Trying to keep someone from coming together with someone. Show me the Four of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Wands shown itself. What's this Four of Swords? I feel like there could be a break or time lapse here before a new beginning. Show me this Four of Swords. The Tower. cards I'm not taking that can I get one more that's so crazy because I was like watch another four come out four 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 and there it goes four 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 so someone here is protected I do feel like th that's what I was getting I heard I heard it and I didn't say it and then I thought of this the four 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 thing but uh there could be something that happens unexpectedly but I feel like it's divine protection I don't know what side of this here on Libra. You could be holding back. Someone could be holding back from you. You could be holding back from someone or holding on to someone. But I also feel like 
um, someone may feel like they've missed an opportunity or um, somebody could be like taking a break, trying to heal after something crazy happened. Signs I see out here is Capricorn, Libra, Leo, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces is here three twice or three times. Scorpio is here twice. Taurus, Libra, Libra is here twice. Cancer. Um. All right. So Libra, what is this devil up, devil up here? El Diablo. What is the devil here for? Five of Pentacles. What's the Five of Pentacles? I don't know. Someone's obsession could be unhealthy. I mean, I don't know what it is. Knight of Cups. That's the devil. That's what I feel like. Okay. So, oh my goodness. The Knight of Cups, King of Swords, Five of Pentacles. You have a soulmate here who may feel left out by you. Or you may be cold towards this person. This person may be cold towards you. I don't know. There could have been some type of an ending, a divorce, a separation here. Or something that happened. Or someone's worried about something happening. But I also feel like someone's obsessed with like coming and offering or expressing, I don't know, an apology or expressing their emotions, offering some type of fair, equal, balanced partnership. Someone's also trying to find the courage and the strength to um, come in and speak some type of truth. It could be about a family, a marriage, children could be a thing. Um, so I do see somebody holding back, staying silent, not saying anything, but it's almost like someone's, why is the nine of swords here? I don't know where you fall in this situation. There could be a Pisces here or someone with strong Pisces in their chart. Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands. So someone here could be playing mind games or trying to cause some type of drama or competing with somebody. Trying to one-up somebody by stagnating something, delaying something, slowing something down. Someone is definitely worried about um, overcoming some, some type of like... Someone definitely feels guarded or insecure about something here. And they're worried about... Three of Wands, the future? I don't know. What's this Page of Wands? Aries, Leo, Sag, Eight of Pentacles. Someone could be working with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag doesn't have to be. Or someone here is an entrepreneur. Someone here is building up their skills. Someone here is very abundant, fruitful, optimistic, very childlike, playful, energetic, abundant, has a lot of growth around them. I don't know if someone's like worried about like the future of something. Um, 
Is this Ace of Swords? Three of Swords. There's someone here. There's some... I don't know what's going on here, Libra. Queen of Swords. I don't know. Libra. Three of Swords, Ace of Swords. I don't know if you know the truth about a third party or some type of heartbreak or you're feeling heartbroken because of some type of truth or clarity that you got. Um... What's this three of pentacles in the reverse? You got two threes. You guys got a complicated reading. All right, not complicated, just, I don't know. It doesn't have to make sense to me, but uh, seven of swords. I don't know, Libra. You know what I'm kind of getting? I'm getting Seven of Swords. I feel like someone here did do something that was shady, sneaky. Someone lied, possibly with the mistress or a third party. There was something here you found out about, but I don't feel like it's going on anymore. That's the thing. I don't feel like it's going on anymore. Someone may be like obsessed with like trying to make something right with you. I still feel like there's like heat or something of a situation like I don't know if you asked for a divorce some of you guys could have literally asked for a divorce because you found out some type of secret here I don't know if you were married to this person I think somebody stepped out or did something this is someone who either you were very passionate about or the passion was good there was a lot of excitement. Someone here also is an entrepreneur. They work really hard. Whoever this person is, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's whoever. There could be, like, I don't know if you guys have a child together here. Uh, Empress, Page of Wands, King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. I don't know if you are working together with this person and now you're stressed out because you don't know what the future holds or this person's stressed out because they don't know what the future holds. They feel wounded or guarded or they feel insecure about something. And I don't think that's you. I think it's whoever you're dealing with. I don't feel like someone's doing something anymore. Someone wants to heal this. They feel like something was a missed opportunity. Yeah, they're holding back from something. But I feel like they're still, I don't know what this tower is. It's like, is there, are you still, you putting your foot down with this person? Like, no, I, I don't, I want a divorce or something to that nature. So maybe there's a delay before you can go towards something new or you can have this new opportunity in your life because there's something here that's like going on that's a little bit chaotic. And I feel like someone's trying to make something right with you. Or trying to apologize or someone's obsessed with like showing some type of sincere sincerity or apologies towards you. All right, Libra. So I'm going to leave that there. Let's see. Let's get three cards. What else does Libra need to know during the solar eclipse? Yeah, with this Empress being out here, this Queen of Swords, it's like, I feel like you know your worth. <clears throat> I 
I don't know if you received a message or you will, or you're planning on sending a message that or you're worried about. I, I don't know. Some of you may feel like a relationship is toxic. Like if there was something that happened, someone cheated, someone stepped out. It's like, you may feel like this is like, is toxic or there's arguments or fights or there's someone always competing with you or you feel like you're being held back or you feel like you're being stagnated for whatever reason. You may feel like something's toxic and you just want maybe a divorce or you want some type of fairness. You want justice. You want this partnership. You want a soulmate contract here that's fair. You want something to be equally yoked. Okay. You got grief. Um, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So maybe that's how you feel, you know, if you're the one disconnecting from someone or whatever is going on here, you may feel like, you know, you, if you're not going to appreciate me, then you can lose me type of energy. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Yeah. Some of you guys are like, I, I don't give a shit. If you, if you lie to me, I know that I can be honest with myself. Like, and I feel like you're being honest with yourself. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So some of you guys are very focused on your health. I think I, did I say that? No, that was another reading, I think. Um, health. Yeah, so some of you guys may be focused on your health or making healthier choices and work, love, life, whoever it is, whatever it is that you're doing, okay? So let's get a message, please, for the sign of Libra. What else do you want to tell Libra? you have someone trying to hold on to you and heal a situation and I feel like they regret missing some type of an opportunity or there is something here that I feel like you're protecting your peace your finances you're pulling back your energy you're not accepting someone's cup you're choosing to heal and let this damn tower fall I just read those last four cards so that's what it said okay so can I get a message here for Libra Don't mind my hair. I have my bad hair day today. Just roll with it. Oh my God, why is everybody getting this? Y'all seen me shuffle these cards. I just did, I just did a Leo, Virgo, and now Libra. And I think all three of you guys got this Raven Spirit card. That's crazy. All right, let's read number 32. Truth. Stark honesty is called for at this time in your life. In ancient Greece, it was believed that ravens carried messages from the gods. And because their acute vision, they were thought to be bringers of the truth. The soul loves the truth. What is your truth regarding your life? Be honest with yourself and speak from the heart. Listen to what is sincere and honest in others. Step away from those who are cagey and duplicious. The hardest thing about living in your truth is knowing exactly what it is. However, there is a place within you that always knows what is real and what isn't. Release situations and people with whom you find yourself less than honest for fear of being judged or not accepted. It can take time to discover what is true for you. But once you know, let go of anything in your life that is not authentic. Miracles follow when you take time to be genuine. The raven is also considered to be the totem and the protector of the queen of fairies. That's why I was saying 444, four, four. there's protection here. I don't know if you're protecting yourself or, um, you know, you got some type of protection surrounding you. There is something going on that's kind of chaotic. Some The tower is out here twice. Something is going on. It could be a divorce, a separation, something here, a foundation crumbling to the ground. But I feel like you're protected. Okay. Um, this. All right. The Raven of the Spirit. Okay. <laughs> The spirit of the raven says, the soul loves the truth. Find your truth, speak your truth, live your truth. Be fearless in your journey. Follow your inner guidance. Let go of what is not authentic and sincere in life and be a shining example of truth for others. 
Damn, Libra. Okay, you guys let me know what's going on in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. If it did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.